Pause. Zoom in. Why did she do this? Let's go back to the beginning and let me tell you a story. It's the dawn of a brand new year, 2023. People around the world announced their excitement to see a new year with very colorful displays of fireworks lighting up the night skies. This went on for a couple of hours, non-stop. But in the Netherlands, a few more hours into the first day of the year, this happens. It's a beautiful morning. Hello. And this lady... Happy 2023. ...is going to do a Dutch tradition, which Cold. scares the hell out of me. New Year's dive. New Year's dive. And as we are very close to the location in Houghton, we are I'm going to do it. <laughs> so you're going to dive, gonna dive in, in what? Water in the lake. Cold water. Why? To your year refreshed. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How do you feel about your sister doing this? <laughs> well, I would join her if I could, but I can't. She has a flu. I have the flu. But uh, yeah, I think it's really cool. I think it really shows who she is. That she's just going to <laughs> jump in this cold lake. That's really funny to me. Uh, that's the lake. According to available history, some claiming it was started in 1960 while others claim 1965, let's just say this winter tradition that started in the 1960s has only been called off once. Quite a number of brave people take a dip in chilly waters ranging from 7 to 9 degrees to start their new year. Yikes! According to the organizers, over 50,000 people participate in 142 sites across the Netherlands and 11 sites outside the Netherlands. From where this video was filmed in Houghton, 570 people participated, including the heavily expectant mother, who's the other half of this channel. There's the warm-up exercises and stretching to keep your muscles ready and safe. The countdown and the rush to dip. loud cheers and of course hot beverages to warm your body after this charity event raised a little over 800 euros at this venue which forms part of a bigger pool that helps to provide food items for those who cannot afford them at your service our queens life of a pregnant lady <laughs> I really enjoyed it. <laughs> it was actually really refreshing and because you just, it's just a shot of cold and then you ran out again and it's even colder outside. And actually I thought my upper body would be cold but it's mostly my legs that were like freezing. But it was really refreshing and nice. Everybody went at the same time. Yay! And some people went like three times, that's crazy. I did once. I don't see myself doing that. No. So she wanted to find out how I feel about it and I was telling her that in Ghana I don't see people doing this because one, we don't like the cold and two, most people don't like water like this so it will be an activity that, well, for most people in Ghana it wouldn't really be a thing but I guess if you grew up with it, it might be your thing but I don't know but, uh, yeah. yeah, and I have to say uh, this hat really helps because you keep your 
head warm, you run in, you run out, and then whoop, you quickly change, so it really works. <laughs> She's happy. Maybe the next time I witness it, I'll join. But this year wasn't it. Catch you in our next video.